Okay, here's a dumb video. Uh, <clears throat> how much does pitch matter uh, for a radiator? So here's a radiator. It's a kind of a small one, but it's one you might find in a bathroom or in a small bedroom. Upstairs, probably. I've got it set up with a one-inch valve. This valve's open, uh, but this is a one-inch valve, as would be common on the second story of a typical small to middle size house here in New Jersey. I have the I have the pitch set up at what I think is reasonable. Um, you know, that's pretty reasonable for a pitch of a radiator that you might find, and it's in the correct direction. And what I have in here is I have it so it's it's got as much water as it normally would hold, right? So if I if I put a little bit of water here, just that much, then it should make its way out the valve, right? Takes a while, apparently. Let's go, come on. There it is. Isn't that weird? I mean, it doesn't seem like it would take that long. It's ar It was already full, but whatever. That's how long it takes, okay? And then it slows and stops, okay? So that's all the water. So think of that's the, that's the amount of condensate that would be in this radiator after a call for heat ends, right? So, and it's pitched correctly. So now, let's see. Can I do this with one hand? Maybe. Let's see how much uh, water is still in this thing. I'm going to tip the whole thing forward and try not to have it fall on me. All right. So this is a dramatic pitch, right? This is like you know, 45 degrees or something, or 30 degrees anyway. All right. All right. That much water came out. So now I'm going to pitch it the other way and uh, repeat this, and we'll see how much water comes, uh, comes out when the radiator is pitched in the wrong direction. Okay, I'm back. So I removed the shim from the from the back there and I added like a half inch board to the front here and now it, the radiator has a reverse pitch which was about the same as as what the correct pitch was but in the other direction roughly all right so there's a reverse pitch I I poured water in until water came out of the valve and I've got a little bit of water just to prove that I'm not playing tricks so there's water, but uh, there's none left in my container. Okay, there it is. There's the stream of water pouring out. So you can see that the water, it's, it's holding whatever it would hold again after a call for heat. But again, it's at this reverse pitch now. So let's see. Uh, let's see how that might matter. Like how much water difference is there going to be? Again, I try to do this without killing myself. Bring the whole thing forward here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, it's more water, but does it matter? I don't know. The, the, the extra water is, is going to be, you know, mostly on this end. It's going to be in the bottom of these pieces here. The interesting thing is the way these, uh, the way these are made. Oops, spilling water. The way these are made, 
the this passage between the sections is pretty thick so the the path for water to travel is, is you know in the middle of it here there's 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 a, a bottom part of each section that is lower than the passage between the sections that traps and collects water so there's a little water here 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 now when the pitch is reversed of course you know there's going to be more here and if it was severely reversed you could expect you know the water to be you know quite high here but is that i don't know does it does it matter much i think it i think it would uh cause some um some hammer potentially right but this is remember this is reverse pitch even when it's level and even when it's correctly pitched, as I as I show it, there's water in here anyway. So why isn't every radiator banging every single time it fills with steam? Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to run steam into this radiator and see if I can get an answer to that question because when steam hits cold water it has a potential to create water hammer, right? Well, why doesn't it, why isn't it creating water hammer in all the radiators in the entire world, every single call for heat? I showed there was, you know, how much water in the bottom of that container, even when it's correctly pitched. And there's even more water than that because I didn't get all the water out of the radiator when I tipped it, but I think I probably got most of it. So, so what's up with that? How, how much of a bad pitch do you have to have before we get water hammer? Uh, take some guesses and then I'll, I'll be right back and fill this thing with steam.